Right. They, they're, they're like the tighter fitting wear. Right. So okay. that's where that comes from. They want to be okay. like them or whatever. But anyway, speaking of Jamaicans, I want to get into something else. Um, this whole skin bleaching thing, Vibes Cartel. He looks like a spook. I don't know. Did you guys see this picture? I don't know what's going yeah. on with him. I know that I prefer him better with his natural dark skin. skin. I think yeah. that he looks like a zombie that's, now. Yeah, that's and epic. I think that these people are taking bleach into the next level. They really are. You know, if you want to exfoliate your skin or, you know, you have marks on your skin that and you want to smooth your marks. down. But yeah. Oh, right. God, yeah. There are safe ways of bleaching your skin. But the things that these people are doing are dangerous. It's stripping the skin down past so like there's no layer there it's and then they're like going addiction. they're exposed to the sun and it's dangerous you know yeah. so that's where you have to draw the line are you going to bleach for vanity and and risk having potential skin cancer or long-term damage or when you're maybe 35 you look like 55 that's where the, you have to draw the line because at the end of the day you're just wearing down your skin to such a thin layer it's like it's like a lot of things that people are doing to themselves these days you know People are just doing all these beautification enhancements, but they, they're just thinking short term and not really thinking yeah. on the long term of yeah. how right. it's going to affect And then they're making their body. own, these people that you see, most of them, they're, they're making their own They're taking the, the other way out. They're like, oh, they're, I can do this. Right. Do they this. have a lab. Like, they're putting PW2 sure powder pressure, right? and yeah. all kind of things they're mixing in. They don't you know. said B2W powder, right? Like the bleaching the powder bleaching for the hair. bleaching for your hair. Wow. They use all kind of ingredients that they don't have education about, and they are putting it on their skin just to get lighter. You That's know what like I mean? me when I was little when we used to pour peroxide in our hair. Yeah. We, we wanted to get lighter. Yes. That, was our hair. Sun. <laughs> that was our hair, not our skin. <laughs> right. right. I mean, that's a huge insecurity, which is among a lot of the youngsters even or high schoolers, you know, trying to find yourself pretty much. Right. And I just think, exactly. you know, you can't really change who you are. You exactly. know, that's why the bleaching for a cartel, he doesn't look like himself. And for the fact that he and thinks he that he looks, looks better. He looks fine with his original skin. But the like, fact that he thinks he looks better, like that shows that <laughs> there obviously is a problem. Yeah, and then because like, he doesn't. Cartel, honestly, you are hot black with black skin. No, I personally seriously. am attracted he, to dark skin. I love the chocolate men. Too. I love chocolate yeah. men, so I don't know. What, what, what did we go wrong? It's that you know what? new image, though. But you know what? You have a lot of dark skinned people, women, in this, especially more of a men, because like that before it used to be light skinned guys, now it's like chocolate light skin. Or guys kind of play. I always Not, know that. That's the same. I'm so I was in the trap. They yeah. do. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you yeah. have more dark women that are insecure about their dark color. Oh, yes. that. Well, it has a lot to do with men. I don't. I understand why. Yeah. Because I've actually heard men, especially Caribbean men. But they actually single out that they don't want a dark skinned girlfriend. Right. Wow. Now that's an exception in a lot of cases. Because I mean I, I do know light skinned men to me seem to prefer um darker skinned woman. woman. But and I've I heard I've heard that. men say say comments. I'm oh I'm not talking to no black girl or whatever. Wow. And I mean they don't even know the person. They haven't so I mean a lot of women are under but the pressure of feeling inadequate a lot of that because comes of their from, skin complexion, because a lot of, of that comes from what they see on TV constantly. Right. The constant is the but same. But you know what? Type Another person is looking at Sammy Sosa. Video. Yes. I don't know what he thinks, but I thought he his complexion was gorgeous. Yes. He was Maybe fine Sammy before. Sosa thinks that the blonde hair, blue eyed ladies that he seems to have that's a dress that, that, that maybe they will, he would be more accepting. But he's another one. He doesn't, yeah. It doesn't look natural. He looks sick. He looks horrible. Yeah. He looks sick. I don't I don't like it. And I wouldn't want it to, for marks and things. I thought that's what the bleach was originally yeah. made for. was like for scars and marks and to, exactly. to, you know, to stay them even, right? But taking exactly. it to another, another context, one. men that bleach, that's not yeah, what's up. Yeah, he's doing it in India. I want to know this. I want to just ask this question. You think, okay, he's bleaching his whole body. What about that other is area in particular? Like, is he bleaching? Well, they said skin? Michael that Jackson did burn, burn and he took the pill. Does it burn? Like, what, what, I swear, if I see I a, it. if I see a man bleaching his penis, I swear it's over. I'm, no, I'm done. Yeah, I'm completely done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If they are actually rubbing this cream on their balls <laughs> and very I don't think that you can. Isn't that a sensitive area? I would think that they want to burn. burn. I think the whole body is a sensitive area to compare, you know, yes. you check. Yeah, absolutely. When you really think about it. Hmm. I don't know, but um. If you're a man out there and you're bleaching. <laughs> and you have a, your whole body's white and your penis is dark, email. <laughs> so let's see. I want to talk about 
our topic of the day, what we you know really really want to get into. Um, it's a subject that really interests me because it scares me, but at the same time, it kind of fascinates me because I just wonder how their brains think. Is these men that are living on the down low? Brothers on the down low. It seems to be sweeping the nation Absolutely. right now, and um, you know we're. I'm all for choices. You know, I just think that right now honesty needs to be, you know, kept in relationships. Yes. Right. Because nowadays a lot of these guys are really in sexual relationships with other men and women are in the dark about it. And let a woman know so that right. she can make the choice and know. whether or not she wants to continue that relationship. Right. And you know that was always curious to me is like, do we even have any signs? Like what can we look for yeah. when we meet a man? Because they're not going to ever tell you. You know, I mean, obviously, you yeah. can't just ask a guy, have you ever slept with a man? They're and not going to tell you. Man, then you'll but you know what? Him. I think in some cases there are signs, and in some cases there aren't. Because yeah. just like how you can have a man and a woman, it's natural, but you don't know if a man likes you unless you look at him. He might give you a look like, oh, well, maybe look his eye, do whatever. And I think it's the same way. And I had a conversation with a young lady, you know, not to be long and drawn out, but basically she worked in a diner. And um, she told me she would see people come in, you know, it stays open late, she would see people come in, like men sitting over there, they don't even know each other. By the end of the night, mm -hmm. they're talking to each other and hooking up and getting each other's numbers. And these are, I mean, guys, would, you would never know baseball caps, sneakers, Tim's, whatever you want. Yeah, they just like, like walk over to each other and... Well, there's different signal. ways it happens. It's like, I guess... They kind of know. They send a right. signal, they right. receive a yeah. signal. It's like, oh, you see this guy staring at you. And I've heard guys say that before. Like, this guy kept staring at me. I don't know, what is he looking for? He's looking for me to look back or... To but she, I you know what I guess is a behavior. She basically so wants her... Maybe if you're looking at me and I'm looking back. Right. Yeah. Her response yeah. Guy, you have time? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Exactly. No, I don't her have... response was exactly no. that. I said, how do they know? She said, just like you can look at a guy and he knows you interested or yeah. you know he's, it's the same way. She said, it's a language. It seems like there's a language yeah, the going language. on that we are in the dark about as women. Right. Because I know of a few women right now who are in relationships with men who are currently in relationships with other men. And they are fully living like heterosexual, have children, live with a woman. And I don't think that they ever intend on coming out the closet. No. And um, they're comfortable. They don't want to ruin their family life. Yeah. You know. I mean, subject. but can you really be comfortable if you prefer the no, same you're sex living and, on you're, edge. and you have a family? You know what I think is walking on eggshells and you're living a double life. You know what I think has the safety where the safety net lies is I think a man's secret with another man is like such a well kept secret yep. yeah. because to admit. To and someone that, that you are have been in a situation with another man is to admit that you yourself yes. are gay. Yes. So only those two men who both have everything to risk yes. kind of know each other's secrets. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like Victor's secret. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, and I have a good friend of mine who, I don't know how long he's been. He doesn't even know that I know he's gay, but I know he is because I've known him for so long and I don't know any women, I don't know any anything with friends, but there's never any women in his life. Yeah. But I always hear about, I know this male friend and that male friend, and he would never admit to me. And I love him the same, even if he did come out and tell yeah. me. Sometimes I wish he would, but if he doesn't, you know, whatever, because he has, you know, his credibility on the line, who he is and the yeah. respect as a Which person. is understandable. And you know, I don't mind if someone doesn't even he broadcast it. Yeah. But I think that if you're going to go into a relationship with a woman, or, you know, if you know that you're that way, then don't. Or go into a relationship with a woman who you know is accepting of bisexual men. Yes. Because yeah. right now there's so many people out here in the world that you can find your type. You have yeah. some woman who don't mind that you've been with a man oh, yeah. and now you're with a woman. Why, but you know what I mean? Not that would accept that. Not me, but yeah. I mean, look at <laughs> Terry McMillan. I mean, she yeah. was devastated when Oprah, you know, she was married to that guy for 10 but years. But sometimes we see the signs and we don't want to acknowledge Well, obviously there. she didn't want to see. She just yeah. wanted to get her groove back. But then, back. like we say, that guy looked, I mean, I'm sorry. He looked it. But then what are the signs? Because there are some men who, have, I've known men who had a little feminine, maybe just a little feminine, whatever, but can a lot of women or who's a, a player or playboy or whatever you want to call it and then he's just made at feminine but then you have men who are masculine totally no not him no way and that are so it's like sometimes a sign no, is just not from really a sign. just from experience and just from information from talking to women and yeah. you know and you know my own experience and having um friends who have been in relationships with Mm -hmm. Men who found out and they found out that they were gay, yeah. and gay men who have been with straight women. I would say that one straight men. Yes. I would say that one major sign 
If your man has sex with you, 